Oh, hey. Collecting eggs today. Visor precautionary. You know, eggs in the eyes and whatnot. Anyway. So, I had some questions um, since I've kind of updated my uh, egg collection system and have neglected to show visuals. So, uh, this is this is exactly what I just took out of the fly hutch uh, in the larva room. Um, I've not done anything with it. I've hardly really looked at it. Um, there's some flies just kind of hanging out on the top here. Um, I think if you look closely, there are eggs along that edge, which um, I'm going to work on. But some of the questions I got, how many bio balls I use, um, I don't know. I, uh, I measure with my heart, like I do a lot of things. Uh, but I'll, I can give you a rough idea of how many I use. I'm not really sure how many are in here, but um, what I will do is I have a scale here. I have one empty bio ball. So an empty bio ball weighs, so one of these weighs three grams. Uh, and what I end up doing, uh, this is a clean basket here. I will pour this basket which I just had in the fly hutch because right now you can't really see like I can see some eggs in a couple of these but not too many so this is what we're going to do so those are some eggs those are some eggs it doesn't look like a lot you know there's like oh boy this wasn't great right um, but I have a feeling no. so they like to lay eggs on the bottom and you can kind of see some in there but like here here's where the magic happens they're all on the bottom. And this still doesn't look like a whole lot, but um, there there are more. They're like they're just there's there's a, there's a lot in here. Yeah. Move this up here. Okay, so we have our our scale here. Set this on it that and in case you don't remember my uh, salad spinner video I use this to hold the uh, the newly washed bio balls and this is how So that's about how many I put in. So if you do, each one of these weighs three grams. We have 940 grams divided by three. 300? 300 in there? Probably. All right, and as far as how I place it, this is just for demonstration purposes. So let's say that these were in the fly hutch. We're not, we're not in the fly hutch, but let's say they were. All I do, I take this, that's it, that's all I do. 
I let it sit there. Um, as you can see, these are hungry larvae. They're working on coffee grounds right now. Um, but that's it. That's that's just how I place it. It's not it's not hard. It's not complicated. Um, no, I don't overthink it at all. So, yeah. Uh, so that one will go over into the fly hutch. This one will sit on top of a bin with coffee grounds and um, it will hatch into the coffee grounds like a larva shower. Alright, so this is what I mean by like the larva shower, so to speak. I don't know if you can see here. They're basically just hatching out of the crevices and then they fall. And they fall down into the coffee grounds and they just start they just start growing. Um, this is from mm, two days ago, I think. And uh, this was a this was a pretty healthy um, population of eggs that I, I had collected that day. And I want to say they're about half halfway through their hatching right now. But you can see like some of these are just just packed. And um, like you zoom in here, you can kind of see what's left over. The, the shell, the husk uh, that they leave behind. But this over here is what they're hatching into. So you can kind of see the tiny, tiny little flecks of larva in there. They're, uh, they're working. They're growing. They're um, They're going to be about rice size in about a week. So that's what happens. We have tiny little larva shower over here, which is kind of cool to watch. And they just sprinkle down, down into the coffee grounds. It's like poetry. So instead of um, wearing this ridiculous face shield due to my new phobia and apparently everyone else's phobia of getting a, a larva hatch into their eyeball, um, I have gone back to using bio balls <laughs> because I think it's just so much easier. Um, it, it became very time consuming to do the slats and uh, my understanding was with the, with the use of the slats, you have a good opportunity to weigh how many eggs you, you will harvest. And I am not convinced that I need to do that. And I wasn't weighing them. It was nice to be able to see the accumulation, how many, um, how many I would have at the end of collecting eggs. However, it wasn't um, it wasn't worth the time it was taking to do it, so I gave up on the slats, and I went back to the bio balls, and I'm very very happy with bio balls. Washing them is easy. I just put them in warm soapy water, um, and I rinse them, and then I let them drain, drip dry. They get like 95, 98 percent clean. That's good enough for me. Pretty happy with that. Um, it just goes a lot quicker. At this point in time, I probably have about 2,000 bio balls um, in my possession, just because I use, I probably use about 1,000 of them a week. Um, I'm not saying they don't put eggs anywhere else, because they 100% do, but at least half of my egg collection is out of the bio balls. Yeah, so that is, that's an update to my uh, egg collection. I think it works a lot faster. I don't dread doing it as much anymore, um, but uh, we tried it and it, it did work. It's 
probably not as effective as bio balls because you need so many slats and um, it's just so much easier with the bio balls because they have so much surface area like like these look at all of them look at all those eggs like if if I had slats for whatever surface area is here I would need I would need to cut so much wood and I'll be honest, I would not be cutting the wood. It would be my dad who would be cutting the wood because he, he does stuff like that and I don't do stuff like that. I do larva stuff. He does wood stuff. Anyway, um, there you have it. There is my update. And um, thanks again for watching. Keep it circular, like always. And I'll see you next time.